Good afternoon and what is a mild, bright and sunny day. It is Thursday, October the t uh, 3rd, and I'm in the reading up with a nice hot cup of tea. And a box to continue unboxing. And what I've got in here is a copy of Strange Land by John Sopel. Um, how Britain stopped making sense. Pretending to the UK in some ways has been disconcerting. It is, after all, my home, a country I love and I'm proud of. But either it's changed or I have, or maybe both. It just feels like a strange land. So John Sopel is a journalist. He previously was the political um, correspondent in the US for eight years for the BBC and came back and presented uh, with Emily Maitlis the Americast, uh, which commentated upon US politics. Uh, especially in the lead up to sort of, um, Biden's election, um, and then since then left the BBC and with Mateless uh, become part of the trio who present uh, the news agents on basically an ongoing podcast um, and so on. So at the beginning of 2022, after eight years uh, of political reporting in the US, John Sopel returned home to the UK and having spent almost a third of his career abroad, he found a very different place to the one he left. In Strange Land, his first book since launching the global hit podcast, The News Agency, asks, what is the Britain he's come home to? In the US, John was the outsider looking in, firm in the belief that the common language of English masked our fundamental uh, differences in terms of values and beliefs. It seemed the British had much more in common with our European neighbours. Uh, Strange Land is John's account of how much that has changed. The US was a country he thought he knew well, but didn't really. Returning home has been in some ways even been more concerting, disconcerting. Either Britain they grew up in, or has changed dramatically, or he has. Perhaps both. A trenchant anal analysis of politics, people, and everything between Strange Land is an unforgettable portrait of a country gone through the looking glass. Um, so, let's, uh, there we go. and yes, this is signed. This is actually a gift for my partner um, because she read and recommended his previous book and she listens to the news agents um, pretty much daily. So, the introduction. Um, and flip past the contents, of course. And part one, um, really basic, anything is possible, goes back to 2016, uh, actually tumultuous year. Um, I mean, what year isn't tumultuous, but essentially uh, here in the UK, we had Brexit in the US election of Trump. Um, both... Um, from my point of view, calamitous events. You may differ in that point of view. Um, so yes, I'm sorry, yes, this is another bit of politics pod, um, um, YouTubing uh, upon my part, mildly, um, and I know not everyone really kind of um, enjoys uh, that, um, but essentially um, there isn't a huge amount to really look at in this book it's all text it's fairly lightly written it's not it's not um too dense um there are seen it there are excerpts um from there are other sources um so you have footnotes instead of end notes um and a detailed index and Um, blurb about the author in the back of the book, and of course the um, fly cover um, image and blurb as well. So, um, as I say, it's a gift for my partner. Um, I think I enjoy reading this because she read, read she read his other book and enjoyed the, the podcast he is on. And I think this what, what's going to be interesting about this book essentially is um, essentially bringing um, well, no, if not an outsider's point of view than an exile's point of view because essentially i mean obviously he had the it, it was his own choice to go and do the job but essentially what he's been essentially is an exile from this country for eight years and come back to find it different and changed um whether that's for the better or or, or worse um is a matter of reading the book um at, um and it'd be interesting to see it from his point of view given the fact that you know Myself, my partner, and so on, and a lot, and you know, all those other people in the country have lived through the period um, that he's looking at and examining, and examining the consequences of. Um, 
from essentially from Excel's point of view. Um, you know, we have lived through those uh, those, those changes and um, uh, the differences and so on. So yeah, that's strange learned by John Sopel. Uh, look forward to giving this a read after my after my partner has read it. In the meantime, I do hope you enjoyed this unboxing in the Nook. If you did, then please do click on the like button down below. And if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you take the time to post those. And, uh, and of course, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings of the Nook, where you'll see me out here with a box containing typically a book or game or role-playing game or other game, but in this case, um, a book by John Sopel, which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice cup of tea. then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing in the Nook. I will be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.